next I'll cross check my analysis parameters I'll go to analysis tab I'll click on moving load so here for the frame I'll select normal plus concrete forces so this would be analysis results I wanted the combined stress results as well and the number and line element for the influence generation method would be three three number of elements so I'll click OK I'll go to construction stage analysis control data here I'll click on time dependent effective control so here creep and shrinkage and all these parameters click OK so here the load case to be distinguished from the dead load for CS output as uh, every load of the uh, construction stage would be summed up uh, in dead load case if you wanted to remove any of the load cases so if you want to dis distinguish from the dead load case you can select that load to form a uh, load case so I can name this as SIDL I'll select SIDL I'll select this as varying surface click OK I'll click add crash barrier load components and attachment select the crash barrier click OK so these two load cases would be distinguished from the dead load case so can use them for the combination purpose where you have the different factors for this load cases so remember to select uh, to turn on this option calculate output of each part of composite section so you can see the self constraint forces and the stresses in the output I'll click OK here So now I'm ready to perform the analysis. So I'll go to perform analysis or you can press F5. Now the software will perform the analysis. So while the software performs the analysis, let me uh, give the summary of what we have done till now. So we have started with defining the material properties, time dependent material properties and the sections. And then we uh, created the geometry then we defined the boundary conditions grouped them then we defined some of the static load cases which are used in the construction stage so we form the construction stages from 1 to 6 and then later on uh, define the pre-stressing uh, tendons property and the profile and then the pre-stress loads then we move uh, moved on to defining the moving load definitions we define the lanes, vehicles and the moving load cases then we define the rest of the static load cases till here so you can quickly glance through the work menu so whatever the information that's there in the model would be recorded here so if you want to change any of them you can quickly change from here so this is like a summary for you so you can see here the construction stay analysis has been performed and the static analysis so the software has performed the moving load analysis also so you can see uh, the total solution time it took 77.94 seconds so you can appreciate the solver uh, efficiency